Okay, so we've got the curve, 2 to the power of x minus 3. Describe the geometrical transformation as part 1. The transforms y equals 2 to the x to this, which is outside the function. This one's dead easy. So that is a translation uh, of 3 units. And it's gone down, basically. Down. I suppose you could say in negative y direction. Part 2. It's a state, the y coordinate. So if it's a state, I don't need to work anything out. Where it crosses the y axis, so I want this bit here. Where does it cross? Where well, it crosses when x is 0. So I've got to do 2 to the power of 0 minus 3, which is 2 to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. 1 take away 3 is minus 2. So that's the y coordinate. Um, and 3. Find the x coordinate of the point where it crosses the x axis, giving you in the form log of base a of b. And so it wants the y across the y, this bit here, it wants that value there. Well, that means y is 0. So I've got uh, y equals 2 to the power of x take away 3. I want to have when basically when y equals 0. So 0 equals 2 to the power of x minus 3. Add 3 to both sides. Gives me 2 to the power of x equals 3 and then I've got to log to the base something. Well if I, I want the x to be straight down so I need to do the inverse of 2 to the power of something and that'll be log to the base 2. So I'll log to base 2 sides and that'll vaporize the 2 bit and just leave it with x equals log to the base 2 of 3 and that's how they wanted it to be. So part 4 I'm going to do up here. Uh, curve passes through the point that so I write the curve now y equals 2 to the power of x minus 3. It goes through the point p 62 and so you've got to use logarithms to find the value of p to three significant figures. So I know that this first one is x and that one's y so all I have to do is substitute those in there and that gives me that 62 equals 2 to the power of p take away 3. So that means that 2 to the power of p3 equals add 3 to both sides 65. And now I've got the possibility, if my calculator can do log to the base 2, that's going to be really nice. Because I could log to the base 2 both sides, and that will vaporize the 2 to the power of, and just give me p equals log to the base 2 of 65. And I can do that on a calculator, which gives me immediately p equals 6.02236. Uh, which equals 6.02 to three significant figures. But if my calculator doesn't do that, then I'm going to have to do uh, log both sides. I get log of 2 to the p equals log of 65. And this is to base 10, because my calculator will do that. The p comes down to the front, so p times log to the base 10 of 2 equals log to base 10 of 65. Divide both sides by the log to base 10 of 2. I get p equals log to base 10 of 65 divided by log to base 10 of 2. And that obviously equals 6.02. It's the same value. So either of those ways. Part 4, 5. Use the trapezium rule. Okay, so we need a formula. I saw a formula sheet. I've got two strips, each of width 0.5. So I'm going to go from 3 to 4. So I've got my x values. I need x0, I need an x1, I need an x2. And it's got to be 3, 3.5, 4. Two strips. And y equals 2 to the power of x, take away 3. So 2 cubed is 8, take away 3 is 5. That would be 2 to the power of 3.5. I don't know that. Take away 3. So that's 8.3137. I'll keep that in my calculator. And 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Take away 3 is 13. So I know the area. It doesn't equal, it approximately equals uh, a half times uh, h. And that's the width. So it's a half. Curly brackets. And the first and the last one added together. So 5 plus 13 plus two lots of all the middle ones, and there's only one middle one, so that's 8.3137. And that, do that on calculator, 
that equals 8.656854, which equals 8.66 to three significant figures. And that's question eight done.